Hi, how are you? John Sello, John Sello's Beer Brigade. That's my group. Not really my group. I'm not in charge of shit around here. Uh, anyways, um, I want to welcome you, and I want to show you what we're working on today here. Um, Hunter's Shadow, you can see the, uh, the, I think it's over here. Yeah, there we go. Hello, I'm my book. Hello, I'm my book. Hunter's Shadow. This is uh, the uh, book number two in Hunter's Creek by the fantabulous Victoria Sue. We love Victoria Sue to death. She's our other favorite Brit, and uh, <clears throat> she has been kind enough. I think kind is the right word, because um, I don't, I, it may be charity. I don't know. She keeps on hiring me which is a cool thing. Um, but anyways, um, this is book two. Now, from my understanding from Victoria, she had started this series a while ago, uh, Hunter's Creek. And I don't know if she had planned at that point to continue the series or not. I um, can't really remember. But the, the first one was written uh, a much longer ago than Hunter's Shadow. Hunter's Shadow is a relatively new release. I'm recording this on the 26th of April. It hasn't been out that awful long. So this is a continuation. And from what I do know, there will also be a third book in the series too. And yes, we're contracted to do that and it will be out shortly. That being said, um, these don't necessarily have to be read in order, but it certainly helps. And it would certainly give you some backstory to the characters that are being in there. So I'd recommend getting book one before you move into book two. Um, today's bit here is a sexy bit. Um, Victoria Sue does the sexy bits incredibly well. I like to showcase what she does well, and this is certainly one of the factors here. Uh, it's not too far into the story, so there's really not a lot of spoilers. Um, we're looking at chapter four. See, I'm looking at the screen this time, so I don't have to subtitle this to say that I messed it up. We're looking at chapter four, um, and there's a, one character's an Omega. It's an Omega versus Steel. One character's an Omega, and he is about to go into heat for the first time, and he doesn't really know what's happening. There's your backstory. Enjoy. Have fun, y'all. Chapter 4 Jax didn't sleep. He'd wanted Riley so much, wanted his hands all over him, wanted his lips on his, and that's why he had needed him to leave. And regretted it every second afterwards. Even when Riley had lain over him and Jax had panicked, he'd still wanted Riley to stay. He just had to remember the reason he was there, and why that reason was more important than Riley, more important than anything. This wasn't supposed to happen. Were they mates? It wasn't something he had ever thought about, and it certainly wasn't in the plan and in his instructions. Jax blew out a breath and pushed down the comforter. He was hot, really hot. Riley's face swam into his head, and fuck, he always smelled so goddamn good. It had nearly killed Jax to block him. Jax squeezed his eyes shut and tried to clear his mind, but he could still feel the tingling touch of Riley's fingers teasing his nipples to make them hard and loving the scrape of his nail on the sensitive skin. And his cock? That was begging for a party all on its own. Maybe... With a stifled groan, he surrendered to the detritibitipipa. I was begging for a party all of its own. Are you still out of tissues? Is that what's happening? <laughs> no, I'm not out of tissues. I'm just all stuffed up. It sounds stuffed up. Scrape of his nail on the sensitive skin. And his cock? That was begging for a party all of its own. Maybe... With a stifled groan, he surrendered to the desperate need to touch himself. His warm fingers covered his groin, and just as quick, it wasn't enough. The material of his shorts was too hot, too scratchy, too everything, and he shoved them down impatiently. A cool breeze wafted over his cock, but instead of bringing relief, it seemed to throb more urgently. Jax wrapped his fingers around his length. He was so hard already leaking, and for a second he was stunned. When he had been imprisoned, <clears throat> hard, already leaking, and for a second he was stunned. When he'd been imprisoned, sex had been the very last thing on his mind. He slid his fingers up and down his cock and trembled with how good it was. A shiver ran up his spine and he closed his eyes. He'd prefer lube, but right then he didn't much care. He was so desperate. It wasn't hard to imagine Riley's fingers, Riley's sweet lips coaxing kicks, kicks after kicks. Yeah. Prefer Lou. But right then he didn't much care. He was so desperate. He wasn't. Prefer Lou. 
for right then he didn't much care. He was so desperate. It wasn't hard to imagine Riley's fingers, Riley's sweet lips coaxing kiss after kiss, and Riley's cock. What would it be like to have Riley inside? And just as the thought exploded in his mind, his cock erupted. Jax panted through his aftershocks, completely stunned because he hadn't even realized he was close. They groaned as he sat up and stumbled to the bathroom, not wanting to leave evidence. He wondered if Riley was asleep, and guilt settled hard in his belly. Riley didn't understand, and that wasn't his fault. Jax had pushed him away when he wanted nothing more than to desperately cling on. Jax huffed out a frustrated breath, quickly cleaned himself up, and rushed back to bed. It was cold now, and he closed his eyes. He couldn't shut off the image of Riley, though. though. Three hours later, and he felt like he'd trekked the Sahara. He had a glass of water, but he'd emptied that a while ago and was now refilling it from the bathroom faucet. He had no idea what was wrong with him. One orgasm, and it was like he'd opened the floodgates. Not more than an hour after the first, he was hard and aching again, but the jerk-off session was far less satisfying. Now, he was hard for the third time. Peeing had been an exercise in patience, and he'd come, but he was starting to get a little sore, and he was so damn hot. Was he getting sick? No, that was ridiculous. Even he knew shifters didn't get sick, even broken ones like him. Maybe he should call Riley? He had to clasp the sink as his knees wobbled. The shot of pure lust that blazed through his body at the thought of Riley was a new experience, and he just managed to get back to bed. It blazed through his body at the thought of Riley was a new experience, and he just managed to get back to bed. I totally lost my place. It blazed through his body at the thought of Riley was a new experience, and he just managed to get back to bed. He closed his eyes and tried to sleep. He just needed to... Before he even realized it, his hand was on his cock and he was jerking it up and down. Riley. Jax knew he had whispered the name, but when Riley appeared, he thought his imagination had conjured him. Jax? The bed dipped and Jax tried to focus bleary eyes. What is it, baby? He opened his mouth to make something up, but a wave of heat that quickly turned into actual pain rolled over him and settled in his gut. He gasped and clutched his sides. Riley's puzzled look turned to concern. Babes, what's the matter? He placed his hand to Jax's sweaty forehead and stilled. Oh. Jax tried to focus on Riley. His response was strange, an odd one-word answer, and Jax watched as Riley flushed and looked uncomfortable. What is it? Word answer, and Jax watched as Riley flushed and looked uncomfortable. What is it? Jax licked his dry lips. Riley stood. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Jax barely had a chance to question Riley's odd behavior when he was back with a small cooler and brought out an ice-cold bottle of water. Jax could have cried and reached for it with trembling hands. Riley sat on the edge of the bed and unscrewed the top, putting a strong arm beneath Jax's shoulders and raising him to drink safely. I don't know what's wrong with me, Jax said after a minute. Riley didn't answer, but laid him back down. Jax grabbed his hand as if Riley was going to leave, and he suddenly didn't want him to. But instead of sitting close, Riley slid farther down the bed. Jax struggled. Good for and Bob. as if Riley was going to leave, and he suddenly didn't want him to. But instead of sitting close, Riley slid farther down the bed. Jack struggled to process his strange behavior. He had wanted to be close before. It was Jax that had stopped him. Didn't Riley want him anymore? Don't you want me now? The question was out before Jax had managed to filter it, but his mind was spinning. He felt hot and cold at the same time, and he needed Riley to ground him. You're too far away, he murmured, and stupid 
tears filled his eyes. He was ugly, of course. Babes, of course I want you. Riley hushed him. But I can't. Jax heard the knock on the door and Cy put his head around. Is everything okay? I had to pee again. Cy rolled his eyes and patted his rounded belly. And I heard you go downstairs. <clears throat> on the door and Cy sure. put his head around. Is everything okay? I had to pee again. Cy rolled his eyes and patted his rounded belly. And I heard you go downstairs. I think he's in heat. Riley seemed to have to force out the words. What's that? <sighs> Jax interrupted and then groaned as a fresh wave of pain coiled in his gut. Oh, sweetheart. Cy murmured, but he didn't come any closer. He glanced at Riley. Do you have water? Riley nodded. Will someone please tell me what's happening? Jax asked, then screwed his eyes shut. He heard the door close and knew Cy had left. He rolled onto his side. You can go. But that was the last thing he needed. Completely uncaring of what Riley saw, he slid his hand to his cock and hissed as he squeezed. It was sore. It had more... <clears throat> his cock and hissed as he squeezed. It was sore. It had had more action in three hours than in the last three years. Babes, don't. Riley's cool hand replaced his own and Jack's melted. That's good. He almost slurred the words out. Listen to me. Jax forced his eyelids apart but couldn't keep his hips still and tried to thrust into Riley's hand. This was so much better than his own. Why was Riley so far away? He needed him close. He wanted those big bear, bear arms wrapped around him. And he chuckled at his own pathetic joke. Babes, listen to me. Riley's voice was firmer. I like you calling me that. Riley smiled. This is important. Jax widened his eyes and tried to keep still. Riley cupped his cheek and Jax leaned into it. You're in heat. And because of our experience with Cy, I'm pretty sure that means this might go the same way. I'm hot, Jax confirmed. He was burning. His skin was on fire. No, darling. Heat, in this case, means you need to mate. We need to mate. It's your body's natural response to me. In females. Riley's words dried up, but Jax was past caring. There had been a reason why he couldn't mate, but he couldn't remember what that was. He ached. He needed Riley like he would die without him. This is important, Riley repeated. I need to know you consent. I would never, could never do anything you didn't want. Jax licked his lips. He knew exactly what Riley was asking, and despite something in the back of his mind telling him this was a bad idea, he nodded firmly. Riley waited one more beat, one more thunderous pulse of Jax's heart. Then he stood, and keeping his gaze locked on Jax, quickly shed his T-shirt, but kept his pants on. Jax's mouth went dry. His insides lit up as if he were on fire, and he shivered as a cool hand skimmed the side of his body, trailing deliciousness all the way to his groin. He ached, the hurt as much in his body as in his mind. Body trailing deliciousness all the way to his groin. He ached but hurt as much in his body as in his mind. Riley reached in from the nightstand for a small bottle. Jax followed every action with hungry eyes. He squeezed lube onto his fingers and gently skimmed Jax's cock. Jax breathed out a sigh at the soothing touch, even though he desperately wanted more. Desperately wanted more. You'll get sore. Riley murmured, keeping his touch gentle, despite Jack's being helpless to keep still and thrusting into his fingers, desperate for friction. I don't care, 
He gasped out, hooking his fingers around the back of Riley's neck to bring him down for a kiss. Riley bent his head, but cautiously, resisting the urgency in Jax's touch. And in the reality, Jax was losing. He bent his head, but cautiously, resisting the urgency in Jax's touch. And in the reality, Jax was rapidly losing his grasp on, he understood. But right at that second, nothing mattered but Riley, and Riley being inside him. As soon as the thought formed, Jax wanted it with an intensity that left him breathless. He parted his legs and moaned desperately. No, Riley whispered. I can't. I simply can't. I never want to... Jax shut off his words with another desperate kiss and brought Riley's fingers to his hole. He was slick and so ready for his lover. Riley moaned, but then wrenched his lips away. It was like a slap in the face. Tears sprang to Jax's eyes and he rolled away, hunching up. So much for mates, so much for true mates. It was a lie, a hopeless one, and he should have known better. His nan had been right. It's fine, he got out through gritted teeth, curling into himself as pain dug at his insides. He didn't know what was worse, the unrelenting agony in his gut or the knife to his heart. No, Riley said gently. You don't understand. I want nothing more than to make you mine, but I will not be responsible for forcing you into this. Riley swallowed. When you've already been in this position... The last words were hesitant, and it took Jax a second to realize what Riley meant. He scoffed, a harsh, bitter sound that broke free of his throat despite his attempt to bury it. <sighs> you would never remind me of him. Riley's eyes widened, and Jax knew he had to give him more. I was held down and tied up. It was why... Why he had reacted when Riley had covered with him. <clears throat> I was held down and tied up. It was why... Why he had reacted when Riley had covered him with his body? Why the hand to his throat had been so threatening? Jax gasped as another sharp pain clutched his gut. You can go, he gritted out again. Are your heats always like this? Riley asked, ignoring the order and his voice gentling even more. Jax shook his head. I wouldn't know. I thought heats only happened to she-wolves. Riley stilled, looking desperate. And in Omegas. They can, in certain circumstances, be brought on by meeting your mate. Jax would have replied, but another wave of intense heat rolled over him and took his breath away. He reached out again for Riley, silently pleading with him to touch him. Riley relented with a groan and took Jax in his arms. I know, sweetheart, I know, but I don't want me. Jax gasped, ready to bolt, except he didn't think at that moment he could even stand. Riley shook his head solemnly and brought his mouth down. You to hate me. When you realize what we did, I don't want to see hate in those gorgeous green eyes. I couldn't bear it. Jax paused. Though his thoughts seemed to be slipping through his mind without the ability to find any space to land, he knew for different reasons they both had the same fear. Wordlessly, he found the strength to push up and meet Riley's lips. With a deep sound of acknowledgement in his throat, Riley instantly took command of the kiss, and Jax was more than happy to let him. Riley broke off from his mouth, and Jax arched again as Riley's lips blazed a path down his throat, his chest. He nuzzled the hair that trailed lower until he got to his abdomen. He licked and nipped gently at every available patch of Jax's skin, using his hands to smooth away every hurt. Need you, Jax moaned. Please. Then I won't bite you, Riley vowed as he stood and pushed down his pants. Not until you ask me to. Jax was past the point of understanding what Riley was telling him, and as Riley slid a hand lower and grazed Jax's balls, he gave up any attempt to figure it out. 
Jax let out a ragged breath and then a decadent moan as Riley slipped his fingertip inside him. You are stunning, Riley murmured and sucked at the edge of his cock, licking a fresh stripe. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. And then a decadent moan as Riley slipped his fingertip inside him. And then a decadent moan as Riley slipped his fingertip inside him. You are stunning, Riley murmured and sucked at the edge of his cock, licking a stripe around the base. Jax felt it jerk at the cool touch of Riley's tongue against his fiery skin. He writhed, his hands clutching against Riley's shoulders. He wanted, needed, Riley. Riley was what he wanted, what he needed. He screwed his eyes up in desperation, but then... Wow. Holy no muffler balls. Orders he wanted, needed. Orders he wanted, needed. Riley. Orders he wanted, needed. Riley. Riley was what he wanted, what he needed. He screwed his eyes up in desperation, but then... Riley's finger curled and touched something inside him that made his body ignite, fanning the flames that licked his skin. More, Jax demanded, past caring about anything else but the all-encompassing need to have Riley as close as he could physically get him. It would be easier if you turned over. But Jax shook his head. He needed to see Riley, to know it was Riley doing this and... He could physically get him. It would be easier if you turned over. But Jax shook his head. He needed to see Riley, to know it was Riley doing this. And he watched as Riley moved lower, heard the soothing, tender words, even if he couldn't say exactly what they were, felt Riley slide a pillow under his ass to lift him and make it as easy as he could, saw the tender expression. slide a pillow under his ass to lift him and make it as easy as he could, saw the tender expression reflected on Riley's face as he pushed slowly forward and loved the way Riley's pupils dilated as bit by bit he got in as deep as he could. And the moment they joined, Stop. then... As deep as he could get. I feel like when you tell me things right now, I should say bless you. Lee forward and loved the way Riley's pupils dilated as bit... Mm, I can't get that. Under expression reflected on Riley's face as he pushed slowly forward and loved the way Riley's pupils dilated as bit by bit he got in as deep as he could get. And the moment they joined. Then Riley moved and all thought flew away on an intense tsunami of heat and passion and complete and utter rightness. Riley thrust, encouraged by Jack's fingers clutching his shoulders and emboldened by the guttural Stop. cries. Mm. Encouraged by Jax's fingers. And thank you. Bless you, Kazuntaik. Heat and passion and complete <sighs> and utter rightness. Riley thrust, encouraged by Jax's fingers, clutching his shoulders and emboldened by the guttural cries of need that seemed to have no start and no finish, but just were. Jax lost his mind. All his life, he hadn't fit. At war with his own body, never fitting his own skin and either not being enough of a shifter to feel at ease or always just a little different from humans to belong. But this, here and now, Jax finally belonged. Riley thrust once more, and Jax tipped over the edge, surrendering his body and his heart and reveling in the knowledge he was wanted. And after the world had steadied the complete perfection of being... <clears throat> ...his heart and reveling in the knowledge he was wanted. And after the world had steadied the complete perfection of being held, being safe and being loved.